Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. So, if you've seen some of my videos, then you would know that I have a few Japanese friends. Sometimes I call my Japanese friends, even though they're guys, I call them whatever chun. For example, uh, last Christmas, or Christmas that just passed by, I did a video with my friend Jun. If you guys want to see the video, then either click this annotation or the link is in the description below. In the video, I kept calling him, even though he's Jun, right? I kept calling him Jun-chan because that's just a name that I, you know, have called him for years. And so in that video, I got a lot of comments saying, why did you call him Chan even though he's a guy? Besides that video, I've also just gotten a lot of messages in general saying, why do I sometimes hear Chan being used for guys and Kun being used for girls and both at the same time? Like, isn't Kun only just supposed to be for guys and Chan only supposed to be for girls? See, now most people would think that since, like say for example myself, I am a guy, so You'd think that the correct way to use kun or chan towards me would be Joey kun since I'm a guy, right? But it's actually just as easy for me to call me Joey chan. So the question is, am I Joey kun or am I Joey chan? Well, simple answer is I'm both. Even though it's believed that kun is only for guys and chan is only for girls, it's actually not true at all. In fact, Kun and Chan can be used for both genders. Now, there are probably a few of you going, but Joey, I learned that Kun and Chan are gender specific, so I have to use Kun for guys and I have to use Chan for girls. Well, the thing is, you know, there are a lot of these kinds of vocabulary rules and, you know, like, these kinds of weird rules in languages that people say that you have to follow, when in actual fact, it's not true at all. A great example is if you've learned English, then you've probably heard of the rule I before E except after C. But the thing is, there are actually more words in the English language that don't follow that rule than words that do follow that rule. And the rule of kun being for males and chan being for females is also the same thing. Conventionally, yes, kun is for guys and chan is for girls, but it is just as acceptable to use the opposite. Now, practically speaking, using chan for boys is more common than using kun for girls. Chan is very commonly used for both genders because chan is a way that is used to kind of break that social barrier between professional friend and just like a regular friend. Like, you wouldn't call your boss whatever his name is chan. Like, that's just socially not acceptable in the Japanese language. But you'd call your best friend who's a guy whatever chan. Now, kun being used for females is more the opposite. That's more in terms of looking at it in a higher social level. Like, you wouldn't call your best friend who's a girl whatever kun. In fact, it would be more acceptable for, say, if you were a girl, your boss calling you whatever kun. Now, there's no real reason as to why they use kun in the kind of work perspective or in the context of like the workplace. See, this is why Japanese is really difficult and in fact any language is difficult because there are so many rules uh, concerning vocabulary and language structure that are actually not very true at all. So just remember guys, kun and chan can be used for any gender. Kun and chan are not gender specific. If you're in a workplace, you can use kun for both male and female. And if you have a friend who's a male or a female, then you can use chan. It doesn't matter. Now the other question is, Joey, what about whatever son? like Joey's son. Well, again, it's very similar to Kun in the fact that it is used for people who are not quite your best friends, but more for acquaintances and for the workplace. Again, it is not gender specific. Like, you can call me Joey's son and you can call Jennifer son. Like, it doesn't matter. Both male and female, you can use son. All in all, guys, Japanese is really difficult and, you know, it's like those kinds of things like that, like Kun, Chan and Sun, that just makes things even more confusing than Japanese already is. That's why I like English. You don't need to deal with Kun, Chan or Sun. It's just Joey. Simple. Anyways guys, I'm glad that you guys are really enjoying these Japanese 101 videos. If you guys would like to ask any, que any more questions that you'd like me to answer in these kinds of videos, then let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. As always, like the favorite if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for any event. I'll see you guys next video, whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Johnny!